Oh, what is going on, everybody? It is Crypto P. We're back at it again. Today, we're going to be doing a very quick update on Clover Finance. So, you guys know I made a video on this a while back. If you have not seen that video, you should definitely check it out. There should be a card posting up right above. But, anyways, Today we're going to be doing a quick update on the price action because it looks like we're building up for a very, very, very nice move that should be potentially coming very soon. Be sure you smash up that like button, help out this video, get out to other people, not just that. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Definitely smash up that subscribe button, you guys. And do not forget that I post a lot of different videos on different cryptocurrencies. If you guys have any recommendations, definitely leave some comments down below. Let's Let's go ahead and get into it. So not too long ago, you guys, I made a video, as I stated, on Clover Finance. Ticker symbol is CLV. This thing blew up. I made over 100% on this play. Like I stated, if you check out that video, definitely check it out, and you'll see in that video that I made over 100%. So right now, Clover Finance is sitting up for a very, very, very nice move. So let's go ahead and just talk about this current price action okay this is this is important here okay you guys so clover finance as stated we know that we started trading here when it went on to coinbase the stock just kind of blew up right this cryptocurrency went crazy came all the way from down here and we hit a peak all the way up here at about two dollars and about 40 cents absolutely crazy and literally over the past few weeks you can see that we have literally been doing nothing we've just been hovering around one dollar however we are now forming some key level areas let's go ahead and talk about this real quick okay we do have what is called a sloping support and this is important for you guys to understand because whenever it comes to sloping supports they help you validate your uptrend and if you can see going from here from about one dollar if we do this this is a sloping support and you can see that we have had that nice little push up right we kind of had a consolidation we've had another nice little push up and it kind of looks like again that we're in a consolidation so we're definitely building up a base here whenever it comes to clv and i'm liking this so what are we going to be looking for what are key level areas that we're going to be looking for for a push to the upside well let's go ahead and talk about that right now so whenever it comes to clv I want to tell you right now that we do have a little resistance, which is going to be right here at about $1.55, okay? And the reason I'm calling this out is because if you take a look over here, you can actually see that in the past that we got rejected right here when we had that little pump. And then obviously right over here, we had a little rejection and we had a little rejection right here. So $1.55 is going to play as a key level area. You can see that we're kind of struggling here right now, okay? But once we get past this, we should be able to get a lot of momentum to the upside. Side. So our next target, if we get past that, all right, so our next target, if we get past that, it's going to be right up here, which is going to be about $1.65. So not that much bigger of a move, but $1.65 is going to be our next key level area that we need to pay attention to. And the reason I'm calling this out is because if you just take a look here, look at this, I mean, there's a resistance there, resistance here, and a resistance here. So once we get past $1.65, that's when it's game on, in my own personal opinion, because you can already see that we've had this massive spike up here to about a dollar 80 and we're going to be looking for a lot uh we're going to be looking for a lot higher moves because our recent high right or one of our recent highs i guess i would say was all the way up here we're talking about around two dollars and five cents that was a strong area man that was a strong 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 area so two dollars two dollars and five cents then obviously hopefully we could peek out all the way up here in this area right here as well so we're talking about uh this peak right here this is about two dollars and 40 cents so i'm going to be looking for clv to slowly work its way up here to the upside, you guys. I, I really think it's possible, especially by going by this price action that I'm currently seeing. When you get this kind of move up, right, it's good. It is extremely bullish. So I'm gonna be expecting uh, CLV to hopefully soon get that push back up here to the upside. Obviously, it's gonna depend a lot on whatever happens with Bitcoin, but CLV, definitely keep eyes on this one, all right? Definitely keep eyes on this. If we start to break below key level support, so I'm talking about uh, right here, we have a support area at about $1.45. So if we start to break below this area, we do have the sloping support, right? And our horizontal support. If we start to break below that, then I would probably be a little bit concerned here. But other than that, I, I think CLV is definitely gonna be working its way up to the upside. I mean, this stock or this, this crypto, I guess I would say, it literally only has what, 1 billion, if I'm correct here, only 
only has 1 billion of total supply. Uh, circulated supply is about 128 million at this current moment. So definitely keep eyes on CLV. Don't forget, you guys, like I stated, definitely smash up that subscribe button. Smash up that like button. Thank you guys so much for being here. Y'all have a great day, and I'll see you later. And ciao.